All right, your next comedian is a powerhouse here in the Boise scene. She runs this show. She runs several other regular shows, and uh, yeah, she's very funny. Give it up for Haley Lenhart Weiss. Job. Hello, how are you all? Doing great? Yeah? You guys are cool people, right? I can get cool with you. I can talk about my real thoughts, my real things. Yeah. yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Have you ever realized that anything could be a napkin? <laughs> like, have you thought about that? Like, I might, it might be a really crappy napkin. Like a cactus? God, that would be a crappy napkin, don't you think? But it could still be a napkin. I know this because my sister's husband wiped their one dog on their other dog so they could pet their one dog's face because of all the slobber, so they used their other dog as a napkin. <laughs> it was a really furry napkin, but it worked in that situation, right? I don't know, I don't know how to feel about this, because every time I look around, I just see napkins everywhere, and they, they don't know they're the napkins. <laughs> They don't know they're napkins, but they are napkins. Like, all people are napkins? I mean, not all napkins are people. Don't get that confused. How you, okay, what, what's the thing you use mostly, like for a napkin? Is it a napkin or is it your pants? You use a napkin, okay, sorry, I don't believe you. You use a napkin way more than you use your pants as a napkin? I call liar. Oh, uh, okay, that makes sense. If you're gay, you use real napkins. If you're straight, you use people or pants. If you're gay, you use real napkins because you're classy. But otherwise, you're just a straight napkin user, which are people. Like after you come, what do you use? Your sheets? That's not a napkin you should use, but it's a napkin. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, I'll move on. I'll move on. I will move on. Thank you. Uh, you guys have a... Uh... Stop laughing. <laughs> Threw me off. Just kidding. Those are cute. So I threw a party at my dad's house four years ago. It was wild. It was real wild. It was real wild. I had one of my party members punch a hole through the wall. Not a wall. It was a door. It was a door. Punched a hole through the door because he was trying not to hit his wife, which respect. You know, don't hit the wife. Hit the door first. Just, I wish it wasn't my door. Um, yeah. Anyways, so there was a hole in my dad's door, and I was getting out of college and wasn't ready to admit to, like, a failure, so I put a nice sunflower mirror right above the hole in the wall. <laughs> Hung it up, and I was like, they won't notice. Which was wrong, they noticed. Uh, my dad's girlfriend was like, Haley, I saw that you hung a sun sunflower mirror above the door. And I was like, yep. <laughs> She's like, I just want to say I'm so glad you feel comfortable in this home enough to decorate. And like, your dad and I want you to feel comfortable because this is your house and you should feel comfortable to decorate in this house. And I just, I'm so happy that you feel comfortable enough to decorate in this house and so thank you for decorating. And I was like, no problem. <laughs> Four years went past and they just still don't know they have a hole in their wall. So I'm winning <laughs> at life. I'm winning in life, except they know that there's a hole in the wall, they figured it out like a year ago, but they're so passive-aggressively angry at me that they won't mention it. <laughs> Which works for me. It works for me because I'm like, you know what? If you don't mention that I made a hole in the wall, did the hole ever exist? <laughs> this is the liberal arts education you pay for, Father. <laughs> that, and I see the whole world is napkins. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'm Haley Lennon. One more time for Haley Lynn Hart Weiss.
my god. Um, so, 